Good morning, Ryerson. Today is Thursday, September 19th, 2019. My name is Musa Imran, and here is your morning news update. The first vaping-related illness in Canada was confirmed yesterday. Doctors diagnosed a youth in London, Ontario, with a severe respiratory illness resulting from the activity. Health Canada recently announced a list of warning symptoms for people who vape, such as excessive coughing, chest pain, and fatigue. The diagnosis in London was revealed shortly after the province uh, demanded that all Ontario hospitals report any vape-related lung diseases. Ryerson's Community Safety Department will be running training sessions on how to deal with the unlikely event of an active attacker on campus. The program called Get Out, Hide, Fight will be a series of workshops open to students, staff, and faculty. Um, they'll be taught through different scenarios about safety methods using during an emergency lockdown on campus. Training will be offered once a month starting October and will go until the end of the semester. Toronto police are looking for a man who allegedly exposed himself to another passenger on a GO train last weekend. Police say the man boarded a train on Friday at Union Station and got off at Downsview Station. A 34-year-old woman notified police after he showed himself to her during the trip. The man is described as uh, in his mid-30s uh, with short black hair, a medium build, facial hair. He was wearing a white, a white V-neck t-shirt, tan pants, and had on a black backpack. That's it for your morning news update, Ryerson. Thank you. Have a nice day. For the Ryersonian, I'm Musa Imran.